Hey, every welcome back to Terraria. Except it's 3D. You ever seen that one before? That's a special move. It's called the bait and switch. I still don't own a Nintendo Switch. It's been out for like four years. Pretty crazy. Not really. I don't know. When it comes to gaming, it used to be something that was my entire being, but now... It's still my entire being, but I don't play the same games. I used to be a console gamer, and now I haven't used a console in a long time. Any console game I do play, I, I emulate, so I don't have to worry about it. Like, why would I turn on a completely separate thing when everything I could ever want is on the PC? I never feel good gaming on console. I'm going to have to if I let's play uh, Wii games or Wii U games because uh, those games are impossible to emulate as far as I know. So those I need to use my capture card, my Elgato, to stream the footage to OBS and use that to not have any desync while also having great visuals. Definitely going to need to do that for uh, Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, Skyward Sword, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. How many Kirby games did they make on the Switch? Is it just Star Allies? I didn't play Triple Deluxe or Planet Robobot. So it's on 3DS. I guess maybe I could purchase them. I have a 3DS. I guess I could purchase them, but like, what's the point of playing a game if I'm not going to record it? <laughs> it is way more fun to game while I'm talking, while I'm like commentating, or let's playing, or whatever I'm doing right now. Way more fun. One is usually the key I have my sword on, so it still kind of weirds me out that I have a pickaxe there. So close. Oh, it's so close to done. It's so close. Dude. This freaking gravel. I'm not very good at trying new things. I used to get a new game and I played the shit out of it. It was an exciting moment. I haven't been excited in years now at this point. I think I'm just going to be doing the same repetitive PC gaming forever. Three minutes in is eleven and a half minutes enough time to finish this once and for all. Not sure. I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna go with the prediction that I'm not gonna have enough time to mine the rest of this in this video, and we're gonna have to finish it in the next video. And even then, I won't be finished. I still have to replace the floor with grass. It's all the stone below me, that all has to go. I almost have Cookie Clicker 100% completed. Would I ever let's play Cookie Clicker? Probably not. I ever let's play Cookie Clicker, that shit would be the most repetitive fucking thing you've ever seen in your life. Maybe I would do it though, I don't know. If I 100% of the game, that'd be pretty cool. I only need a, like a handful of achievements. I need 700 of every building, I need Uh, what else? 
I need to bake more cookies in an ascension. And I need every building to be level 10. That's, that's it. Two shadow achievements left though. Seven gold in the horseshoes. I have like 12,000 gold cookies clicked and I need 27,777. It's like almost halfway there. And then uh, golden sugar lump. A one in 10,000 chance once per day. You have to log in though where it's guaranteed that you get a regular sugar lump every time. The average player gets it after like 640 days. And I've definitely not logged into the game 640 times, so... Even if I got it now, a year and a half after starting that playthrough, it would actually be lucky because I don't log in that much. I logged in yesterday. But it's just kind of really lame. <laughs> Once I have everything cookie related and I don't need cookies for anything, then it'll be different. All I need to do is click gold cookies and get the gold sugar lump at that point. much left. I wonder if the cobble I'm going to get out of this. Actually, yeah, definitely. I'm going to definitely have enough cobble for an infinite sword. That'll be good. We'll have to fight Enderman again. Even everything else, it's like, swords are so much more consistent than axes if you're bad at the game, which I am. So, like, one axe crit followed by some sword crits. It's another good strategy, I'd say. Get a big chunk and then a bunch of small swift, like smaller, swifter hits. And a site will be cool too. I still don't know how I'm gonna do my plan. I guess yeah, once I expand this, it'll be a big enough pen that having a few trees growing in it won't be too weird. Like two big oak trees with leaves extending over that, like a canopy. Maybe a few more than that. That'd be pretty cool. Lots of lots of stone below me. This used to be vastly different terrain. It was probably like four blocks taller than this. At least. Most likely taller than that. More granite. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with granite. I don't have any plans for granite. Lots of stone. God. This is some beautiful landscape, though. Definitely worth all the hard work. It's gonna be even better when I have grass placed. Dude, what if I, what if I, like, put glowstone perfectly spaced into the grass, like how Luke the Notable did? That would look awesome. I wouldn't have to worry, because it'd be perfectly spaced and measured. Like, what if a mob spawns? Nope, light level three. I'm good. Has to be zero, and it's three. So I'm safe. You know what I mean? I have perfectly measured, none of this, like, random torches everywhere shit. Although the random torches everywhere shit has been pretty good. 
I haven't seen very many, if, if any, mobs. I haven't seen anybody. The only thing that I've seen is down there, but that's because I'm making new land with the dirt. I'm having a hard time putting lights down. I'm gonna need a shitload of glowstone. Way more than I have, that's for sure. The nether, I'm probably gonna avoid. <laughs> If I have a choice, wait till I have like a brewing stand and fire resist potions or something. Although you need like you need magma trick for that, I think. So maybe I don't have a choice. Well, in that case, I'm gonna be taking my sweet ass time. The Nether is gonna be the slowest I'm gonna explore anyway. That portal over there is definitely not going to be my main portal, too. The spawn is really sketchy. The nether is just a generally dangerous place, though. There's no, like, safe nether. There's shit everywhere. Dangerous enemies. Extremely dangerous enemies. Lava that flows really quickly. Stack of 49 would be a better use of my time. Well, 11, almost 12 minutes, and I'm almost done with this layer. From this angle, look at the top right corner. That looks like a blue gas. <laughs> blue gas. The slime, it's the ice gas. It shoots attacks that freeze you into an ice cube. Like in Pokemon or some shit. That'd be a cool idea for a mob. They're never gonna add it, but that'd be cool. Never gonna add shit. It's gonna take them like 10 years to add fireflies to the game. They tried to add fireflies to, to Minecraft, and it was like two pixels. Looks like I'm wrong. I'm gonna actually finish this layer. That layer was the biggest of all. That took the longest to do. The next layer is much smaller, it's just only the stone. Okay. And no better time than the present. I'm gonna try to finish this tonight before I go to bed. I'm try to go to bed at like 3 a.m. Because I keep going to bed later than 3, and it doesn't feel very good. Doesn't matter how much sleep you get if it's at a weird time. I'm definitely not used to four in the morning. I don't think I'll ever be used to four in the morning. All this cobble. Slowly convert it into dirt. Efficiency is really helpful. I'm a big fan. Door is whole. Need more dirt though. Beacon powers would make this so much faster. Okay, well, I did a lot more than I thought I would. Insanely good progress. So it has been 15 minutes yet again. See ya.